slit trenches or slitties as we used to call them in the desert particularly were uh, holes we dug in the ground in the um, in front of the tents invariably fairly deep so that if we were attacked we could pile out of the tent and duck into these long holes rather like graves for that matter and uh, at least be out of the way of the uh, bomb splinters and things you were relatively safe and uh, <clears throat> on the one occasion middle of the night uh, everybody fast asleep and you heard aircraft coming and it's surprising how everybody can be dead asleep and next second they're wide awake and particularly with the 88s the Germans didn't tend to synchronize their engines the Brits and the Allies tended to so when the, one, uh, when the uh, 88s were coming along you'd hear the sort of whoa, 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 whoa sound <coughs> and uh, um, you'd be lying in the tent yes and uh, you, you'd hear this and uh, you'd hear the whistle of the bombs as they started bombing and they would pile out of the tent and uh, duck down into the tent uh, into this slot and um, on this one occasion with uh, Johnny Johnson he was the officer in charge of the aerodrome defense uh, men and uh, we went out into this little lot this e one night and Johnny hit the bottom of the thing and seemed to come up almost horizontal and went over the edge onto the, the desert itself and we went on straight on into the hole and we were trying to pull him in and we were saying what the hell are you doing out there come on and he said I can't he said there's a dirty big spider down at the bottom there as he landed he saw the spider which was about that size and he wasn't going to share the slit trench with that so and it's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon he didn't seem to stand up he seemed to come out that way and uh, the other occasion we were barely ill to no man and suddenly a whole flock of 109s came strafing and the first we knew about it when we hear the roar of their engines and the shooting of the cannon and guns and uh, we were into our slit trenches as fast as we possibly could but on this particular occasion there was one of the aerodrome defence, a Cape coloured man who was running from one of the slit trenches but when he got there it was full so he turned off to another one and 109 spotted him and gave him a squirt and there was just this cloud of dust and out of it he still came running it didn't hit him strangely enough he came out on the other side still going for another slit trench and lo and behold that one was full as well by which time the 109 had pulled up and done a stall turn and came back at him and again this was his flashes and this dust and out he came at the far end and he got into a slit trench which strangely enough which was empty and he got into it just as the spot put a squirt across the tent never hit him but as he went past there was a deathly hush apart from the noise of the aircraft and he stood up there and he shook his fist and said come off you glamour pants <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that was a but uh, another occasion and this was Hannes Fora we were leaving an aerodrome and going to another one and we got a lot of paper and general junk which they tossed into a slit trench you didn't close it in you just left the aerodrome like that and uh, somebody had thrown a match into this and it was burning merrily and I saw Honus come along and I saw something brassy drop into this and I sort of put my edge over the side he dropped a 20 millimeter cannon shell into this little lot and we got Doug Rogan with us now Doug was a bod who had been shot down on his first tour and lost most of the bottom half 
of one leg and he'd come back into ops again with a tin leg like Bada, only he had two legs. And uh, Doug was standing there and uh, I looked and I was appalled and I yelled, look out. And as I did, the thing went off and we ran. And the leader of the pack was Doug Rogan going thud, thunk, thud, thunk, thud, thunk. And he was way ahead of us in that little lot. Yeah, those, those slit trenches were, and that's about all I can remember about the slitties.